everybody. My name is Audrey Ladd and I am the Education Programs Manager at the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame and Museum. Welcome to Storytime with Audrey today and also my dog Bolin. The book we're going to be reading today is L is for Lone Star, A Texas Alphabet, written by Carol Crane and illustrated by Alan Stacy. I actually got this book from the Waco McLennan uh, County Public Library and we are very thankful for them for letting us use this book on our story time today. So let's get started. Now this book is kind of fun. It has the rhyme for the alphabet and it also has some factual information and I will be reading both. A is for Austin, a capital so tall. Here laws are made, pledging justice for all. The Texas Capitol building opened in 1888. The Senate and House of Representatives make the laws here. The building is made of pink granite from a quarry in Texas. The Goddess of Liberty sits atop the Capitol dome. The life-size statues of Stephen F. Austin, known as the Father of Texas, and Sam Houston are honored here. Austin, the capital of Texas, is located in the Hill Country region of Texas. B is for Blue Bonnet. Roadside blossoms say hello. Our state's official flower, greeting friends we want to know. The pioneers traveling by wagon were greeted by this beautiful blue wildflower. The pebbles look like a woman's sunbonnet. It blooms in the spring and can be found along major Texas highways. Indian paintbrush, buttercups, Mexican hats, and many other beautiful wildflowers are also found throughout Texas. Ennis, Texas was named the official Blue Bonnet City. Ennis is located in the Prairies and Lakes region of Texas. C is for cowboys and cattle riding over the Chisholm Trail. Chuck wagons, chili con carne, at night a lonesome guitar tail. Longhorn cattle are the official large mammal of Texas. Cattle drives on the Chisholm Trail from 1865 to 1880 began at Red River Station on the north border of Texas. Cowboys would bring cattle in from areas all over South Texas as far away as Brownsville. Cattle were then driven on the Chisholm Trail from Red River Station to Kansas, where the railroad would take, railroad would take the cattle east. Chili is the official state dish of Texas. The Chisholm Trail started in the South Texas Plains region and as far south as Brownsville. D is for Dr. Pepper. Over 100 years of soda to savior, to savor. Invented in a drugstore, mixing 23 different fruit flavors. In 1885, a young pharmacist experimented with different fruit flavors and the soda Dr. Pepper was born. This was the beginning of the soda pop industry in America. And there is actually the Dr. Pepper Museum and Free Enterprise Institute right here in Waco, Texas. Waco is located in the Prairie and Lakes region of Texas. How good fritos would be with soda? Originating from corn dough, corn chips were pressed and baked. In 1932, a Texas businessman baked the chips at night and then sold them by day, calling them fritos. El Paso starts with E, the Pass of the North, the Rio Grande crossing where explorers set forth. Native Americans and Spanish explorers looking for gold used the Pass of the North, crossing the Rio Grande River from Mexico into what is now Texas. El Paso was also a major stop for the Overland Mail Coach in 1858. F is for friendship. We extend our hand to you. This is our state motto. Please accept our friendship too. Texas comes from an Indian word, Tejas. This means friend. Texas is larger than many countries in Europe. It is the second largest state in the United States. It has many landforms, mountains, prairies, beaches, deserts, rivers, lakes, forests, and wetlands. Texas has two time zones, central and mountain, it has many cultures, occupations, universities, museums, and state and national parks. Texas is big and welcomes everyone to the state with a big heart. And that right there is Big Tex at the State Fair. 
G is for gemstone. How beautiful you are. Blue topaz is the state gem. The cut is called Lone Star. Blue topaz was adopted as the state gemstone in 1969. This natural mineral is found in Mason, Texas. Topaz is the November birthstone. The Lone Star design comes from the fine pointed star on the Texas state flag. Mason, Texas is located in the Hill Country region. H is for Sam Houston, a legend of our state. Houston, the largest city, both mighty and great. General Sam Houston, a Texas hero, gave his name to this great city. He was the first president of the Republic of Texas. Houston has a 52 mile inland shipping channel where ships come and go to all parts of the world. Houston is also the Earth's space capital. NASA's Apollo lunar missions were the first giant leap to the moon. The Space Center is named the Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center in honor of the 36th President of the United States. There are four presidents who were either born or lived in Texas. Dwight D. Eisenhower, our 34th President. Lyndon B. Johnson, our 36th President. George Bush, our 41st President. And George W. Bush, our 43rd President. Houston is located in the Gulf Coast region. Independence starts with I, a big and important word. Texas has been victorious. Freedom is assured. Six different flags have flown over the state of Texas, each during a specific time over 482 years. This includes the Spanish flag, French, Spanish, Mexican, Republic of Texas, United States, Confederate States, and then back to the United States flag in 1865, which is the, still the flag we are under today. The Lone Star flag, the official state flag, was created during the years of the Republic of Texas. The colors of the flag are red for courage, white for purity and liberty, and blue for loyalty. J is for jalapenos, red peppers, spicy and hot. I love them in my chili. The taste is forget me not. The official pepper of Texas is the jalapeno. The chilipin is the official native pepper. More jalapenos are grown and eaten in Texas than in any other state in the nation. The mockingbird, our state bird, eats chilipin peppers when they are in season. J is also for Joplin. Scott Joplin was born near Linden, Texas in 1868. Even before studying with music teachers at the age of 11, he was taught himself to play the banjo and piano. His unique style of music called ragtime was a combination of Creole, um, African rhythms, and folk tunes. He was known as the king of ragtime. K is for the kid fox, the smallest of all. Lives in the valley grasslands, hunts only at nightfall. The kid fox and its pups live in a tunnel of dens. The underground dens stay cool in the hot summer. They like to roam the surrounding prairie grasslands. Other mammals that live in the panhandle of region, region of Texas are the blacktail prairie dog, the pronghorn, and the mountain lion. L is for the lightning whelk, seashore, she, seashells on the Gulf shore. Spiral shape, flashing streaks, oh look, I spy for more. The lightning whelk opens on the left side. It is named for its colored stripes. The lightning whelk is the official state shell of Texas. Lightning whelks are found in the Gulf Coast region of Texas. Also on the Gulf shores are many shorebirds. There are pelicans, egrets, whooping cranes, and roseate spoonbills. Now M is for monarch butterfly, emerging with black and orange wings. Flitting from flower to flower, delicate beauty life cycle brings. The monarch butterfly is the official insect of Texas. It is a unique as it is the only butterfly to migrate in changing seasons like birds. It goes through four changes in form during its lifetime, from tiny egg to caterpillar to pupa to beautiful butterfly. This all takes about one month. Do you see other M words? The mockingbird is the state bird of Texas. 
It was adopted as the state bird in 1927. The songs of the mockingbird mimic other birds. Sometimes as many as 25 different songs are heard. The Mexican free-tailed bat is the official state flying mammal. In Austin, a million bats take flight at dusk from under the Congress Avenue Bridge. N is for the nine-banded armadillo, nature's brownish armored knight, our state's official small mammal. His burrow is a common sight. Armadillos like to dig under the roots of bushes to find the grubs to eat. They always give birth to identical quadruplets, four babies, and are the only animal to do that. River and stream banks are their favorite places to live. Armadillo means little armored one in Spanish. Now O is for the old 300. Stephen Austin led the way. Pioneer families came for land grants, good folks that he knew would stay. Under the leadership of Stephen Austin, farmers traveled to Texas with the promise of land. These pioneers from the southern states of Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, Missouri, and Tennessee. They settled along the Brazos, Colorado, and San Bernard rivers, where the land was rich for growing crops and grazing cattle. They used the rivers for transportation. And P is for pecan tree, with nuts so very good to eat. The official tree of our state, pecan trees are hard to beat. The pecan tree is native to North America. Texas is the largest producer of native pecans. These trees can have a lifetime of 150 years and can grow as tall up to 150 feet. The soil conditions along Texas rivers are ideal for growing pecan trees. Pecans are nutritious and all we know is that we can't argue with 10 million squirrels. The prickly pear cactus is the official state plant of Texas. It is very pretty to see, but it is not fun to touch, unless you are very careful. The fruit of the prickly pear is edible, and the branches, or pads, are also cooked and eaten as a vegetable. How, have you ever tried prickly pear jelly or marmalade? Q is for Quanta Parker, Comanche, Comanche Indian chief, striving to lead his people, keeping his native belief. Quanta Parker was the last chief of the Comanches. He was a statesman defending the rights of his people. He learned English and became a res reservation judge. He was a friend to the people of his tribe and the white man as well. R is for the Rio Grande River, flowing wild, long, and free. It's twisting turn named Big Ben, an awesome sight to see. The Rio Grande River is the longest river in Texas. It begins in Colorado and flows to the Gulf of Mexico. For 1,200 miles, it is the border between Texas and Mexico. The river's path winds through the canyons and flatlands. The Rio Grande is at its widest in the Big Bend National Park. Big Bend Country Region has the highest mountain, Guadalupe Peak, with an elevation of 8,749 feet. If you step outside your car, you will feel thirsty, as this air is the driest climate in Texas. Now S is for San Antonio, home of the Alamo. Today with 35 bridges, the Paseo del Rio. San Antonio is the second largest city in Texas. Davy Crockett, Jim Bowie, and William Barrett Travis were all famous men that fought and died at the Alamo for freedom. Today, the San Antonio River winds through the city for two and a half miles. This part of the river through the city is called Riverwalk. In April, Fiesta Week is celebrated with music, food, dancing, a flower parade, and costumes. This is to commemorate the independence of Texas from Mexico. San Antonio is in the South Texas Plains region. Texas Rangers start with T. 
bringing peace to a countryside, riding through the state, great men of courage and pride. The Texas Rangers are known for their skill and bravery. They are splendid horsemen, good trackers, and excellent marksmen. They were formed in 1823. There is actually, as we know, a museum in Waco, Texas, called the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame and Museum, honoring these famous lawmen. Underground starts with you, secretly hiding black gold. A derrick named Spindletop, story of, stories of oil wells are told. Many adventurous men came to Texas to strike it rich. Stories of those that made their dreams come true are written in the names of cities, towns, street signs, museums, libraries, and other notable places. Spindletop was the richest oil well and was located in the Gulf Coast region near Beaumont. The Piney Woods region near Kilgore had the world's richest acre where 1,200 oil derricks stood. Some of those oil wells are still producing. This area was noted for its lumber and cotton. Tyler, the rose capital of the world, grows 500 varieties of roses. They are grown and shipped to all parts of the nation. Valley agriculture starts with V. Northeast of the mighty Rio Grande, vegetables, fruit, and poinsettias too, products of fertile Texas land. Onions, lettuce, broccoli, carrots, tomatoes, and cabbage are all grown in the 330 days of perfect growing weather in the Rio Grande Valley. Aloe vera plants, poinsettias, and trees are sent to markets throughout the country. The ruby red grapefruit is the state fruit of Texas. Rows of orange and grapefruit trees are found here. The South Texas Plains, <laughs> bye Bowen. The top South Texas Plains and the Gulf Coast region have the perfect growing conditions along the Rio Grande River. W is for windmills, spinning on a tower. Some are pumping water, others making power. The early settlers of Texas needed water. Many of them had used windmills on their farms in the North and in European countries to pump water from nearby rivers. Windmills are found on many farms and ranches throughout Texas today. They are also for making electricity. X stands for XIT Rodeo. Saddles, hats, boots, spurs, and ropes. One-handed bronc and bull riders, cowboys with eight-second hopes. The XIT Ranch has a reunion rodeo every year. The Capitol in Austin was built with money in exchange for XIT Ranch land. This ranch is so large, it took up land in 10 different counties. XIT means 10 in Texas. This event takes place in the Panhandle Plains region of Texas. Y is for yucca, tall soldiers with thorny swords. Creamy with bell-shaped flowers, a sweet scent is our award. Yucca plants come in many sizes, some short but others very tall, up to 20 to 40 feet. Many uses have been found for these plants. Baskets are woven from the leaf fibers, as well as rope, sandals, and mats. The buds and flowers are eaten raw or boiled. Z is for the Texas Zoo. Javelina, eagles, and deer, all of our native animals. Can you find them here? The Texas Zoo is located in Victoria, Texas. All of the birds, fish, mammals, turtles, and snakes living here are native to Texas. There are over 200 different species on display. This zoo is found in the Gulf Coast region. And that is the end. I hope you enjoyed our story time today, and thank you so much for joining us. Um, uh, thank you again from the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.